a voltaic cell consists of a gold or a silver electrode and an iron electrode. Um, has the initial concentrations listed there, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, and 0.3. And we want to know what is the equilibrium concentration of Fe3+. Plus. All right, now, to a degree, what we have going on here looks almost like we're setting up an ice table. I'll give you initial things, and uh, we're going to actually solve for our E. But we don't have a balanced equation, and we don't have a K. Well, we can get those from our uh, ingredients here. So we have an E of a cell that we can actually determine by actually just taking the largest minus the smallest. Now that's defined our iron as the anode and this is the cathode so we actually can actually get our balanced equation from that as well so cathode AG plus and a single electron gives the AG And let's see, on our anode, we'd have Fe2+, plus, turning into Fe3+, plus, plus a single electrode, or electron. All right, so that's going to give us our balanced equation of, this would be one electron of each, so Ag+, plus and Fe2+, plus going to go, give us silver, solid, and Fe3+, plus. and that's a nice table. So this is 0 0.30 molar, this is 0 0.1, no, this is 30, and this is 0 0.10. Alright, also my e ot being a 0 0.03 volts. Point 0.8 minus point 0.77. We're going to turn that into a K using the e ot equals negative or a positive RT over NF natural log of K. So starting with that point zero 0.03 we're going to multiply it by our n. Our n in case in the case is just one because there's one electron being exchanged in the overall process. Then 96,485 divided by 8.314 also divided by 298 and I need to take the inverse natural log of that value. And I get a K of 3.2. All right, now to figure out what direction this reaction's going, forward or backwards, we need to figure out the K at this point, which would be 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.3 and Point three. So I have a Q of 1.1. Q is smaller than K. This thing is still going forward. So I'm expecting this to go up, these guys to go down. Plus X. So 3.2 is going to be equal to 0.1 plus X all over 0.3 minus X and 0.3 minus x. And since I have the calculator here, I'm going to let it solve all this for me. So y equals 0 0.1 plus x times 0 0.3 minus x to the negative second minus 3.2 gives me that. Uh, just hit graph. Who cares what it looks like? And then calculate. I want to have a zero. It's got to be somewhere between zero and couldn't be any higher than 0.3. I'll put that in. Now back up. Hit enter here and let's see. It came up with an X of 0 
6.070. All right, and this one and Noah are a concentration of Fe3 plus, so Fe3 plus was at 0.1, goes up, so our answer should be 0.17 molar.